now joined by Colonials head coach Charlie Biscaglia as Robert Morris falls 56 to 49 to St. Francis Brooklyn and Charlie after holding a lead of 30 to 19 with 8 minutes and 11 seconds play in the third quarter St. Francis outscores your team 37 to 19 over the final 18 minutes. Yeah well, you know we let one play affect the next and we got to be a lot better at you know going on and moving on to the next play and continuing to play with intelligence and play hard with passion. You know we dropped our heads too much. We didn't run plays correctly in the wrong positions and then defensively we need to pick it up a lot more in the second half. You know in the first half we did okay. We need to do a little bit better in the first half and in the second half we really needed to do a lot better of a job. So we really got to understand that this game is going to be won by our passion and our effort and you know we can't let one play affect the next and that's that's a big part of that why that run happened. Now, I know in your show with Ethan Roy during the week, you talked about how your team needs to put together 40 minutes every game, and that obviously wasn't the case tonight. How do you get them to do so? You just keep working at it. You know, you don't get negative, and, you know, you got to understand that your passion and your intensity has to be into a positive way. You know, it can't be negative, and, and we can't worry about, you know, one play affecting the next. I mean, that, that's really why we got to combat that. I mean, the reason why we don't go 40 minutes is because somebody, on, not every five players is going to have a, always a great moment you know uh, somebody's gonna miss a shot someone's gonna you know make a bad play and then when you got four and not five out there all ready to work that's the biggest problem we have right now one person can bring down the whole team so when a bad play happens we got to be ready to continue to go through it and that's why we're not going for 40 minutes let's talk specifically about this basketball game on a Nikki Stamalam who struggled offensively in the second half yeah she's got to pick her head up she's got to you know she's and has been through this too many times now you know she had a a down effort in the second half as far as executing and hitting your shot but again you know the energy has to remain up and you know you can talk about all you want but when you get in those moments you know she can knock down a lot of those shots she was missing and you know she's got to go at the speed she can play at and she'll do better next time. Let's talk about the defensive performance of Michaela Mulrain today. She played very strong on the defensive end. Yeah Michaela did a good job especially early on in the game and in the middle of the game of really walling up and taking their post presence out which was good and as we took their post presence out we needed to do a better job on the perimeter of staying in front of the ball and causing turnovers. So she did a good job of taking away their post presence. We just didn't, you know, respond well after we did that. Saw some great play throughout the early part of this season by your freshmen, but today they didn't shine very brightly. Yeah, you know, freshmen sometimes they're up and they're down. The special ones seem to have that consistency and they just they go through it. So we got to keep pushing ourselves to continue to get better and hopefully we'll find that consistency through uh, NECA and Nadej. And, you know, they've had some great moments early on in the year. And they got to understand that, you know, this game is going to be different each time. You got to be intelligent, you got to go hard, and you got to keep pushing through it. And, and hopefully the seniors and the juniors and the upperclassmen will set a better example for them to understand how to push through things because as a freshman, you're going to have moments like that. You had some strong moments today by a couple of your experienced swing forwards, both Jones and Adams came off of the bench and hit some sparks. Yeah, you know, Jocelyn hadn't been playing so well and when she got her little, you know, her limited minutes today, her little action, she hit a shot for us. You know, she came back from a travel and that's one of the moments that I want to, you know, obviously focus on is that her first moment was a travel and then she came back and knocked down that next three pointer. That's the kind of mindset she's got to have now, not just for today, when she gets her opportunity to extend her minutes to have that attitude going forward. And the rest of the players hopefully will feed off of that. Again, the final score, 56 to 49. Robert Morris falls to St. Francis, Brooklyn here at the Sewell Center today. Charlie, before we let you go, looking forward to Monday, a short turnaround to take on the LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds. Yeah, you know, we, we got to make sure that we come ready to play next game. You know, the things that we did out here today, you know, they're fixable. It's going to be our heart and our passion. And we got to understand, you know, you got to find a true identity. You know, everyone on the team's got to know their role and understand it, you know, what they can do and what they can't and get the most out of what they can. And that's what we got to make sure we figure out here in one day. Charlie, thanks a lot for your time. Good luck on Monday. We'll talk to you after the game. Thanks, Adam. Again, your final score, 56 to 49. Robert Morris falls to the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers here at the Soul Center. We'll talk to you again on Monday evening as Robert Morris takes on the LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds. For Justin Piles, I'm Adam Guskey. We'll talk to you then.